Uh uh uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. <laughs> Hark, hark, the dogs do bark. And really, I feel so silly. But I've just come down from the moon with my hair all willy-nilly. But I've got good news to tell to you, all about little Jonathan Thomas. For I knew how anxious you'd be to hear of how he's kept his promise. Well, you remember the witch of Rumpelstitch and the very good fairy queen and what a good friend she's always been to foil the witch's scheme. Well, Jonathan Thomas is still sound asleep and under the spell in the forest so deep. But Whiskery Bill, that's the squirrel, he ran and ran and ran until he came to the rainbow's end where the cold wind blows. He went there, you know, for the briar rose, who needed a ruby for its red. That's why to Whiskery Bill she said, please hurry and go where the cold wind blows and bring me a ruby that glows. And when you've done that, please hurry right back and I'll grow you a red, red rose. And then you can keep your promise and awaken little Jonathan Thomas. So Whiskery Bill, he ran and ran, even faster and quicker than ever I can. But before he came to the rainbow's end, he chanced to meet a very nice friend who happened to be a walrus. Well, together they went, as Bill had been sent. But when they got there, after such wear and tear, they met the rainbow keeper. And then they were wiser... For he was a miser, and no one can be any cheaper. But the walrus said, Look here, I'm no fool. There's more than one way to get the jewel. And they did. And then they ran and ran and ran, just as fast as anyone can until... Oh, but then, here's where the story begins again. We're as happy as happy, as happy and, and quite a bit sappy. Over, over the snow, snow we go. go. Hippity hop, we'll never stop for a long time, goodness knows. Hand in hand, we reach the land of the beautiful red, red rose. For we've been to the land of the rainbow, the beautiful rainbow's end. We've got the red and the price on our head, which we would be glad to lend. So, hippity hop, we'll never stop for a long time, goodness knows. Hand in hand, we reach the land of the beautiful red, red rose. Ho, 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 ho. Blimey, me lad. Ho, ho, ho. And strike me blue. If that isn't the finest song that I've ever heard, even from a bird. And that's putting it quite a bit strong. It's a funny old thing, but... But I like to sing when I'm happy and gay. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I'm quite a bit sappy. So, I nanny nanny and a hey, hey, hey. Right, oh, by Jove, I say. Oh, I'm sure glad I kept my promise. For now we can wake up Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> and I can hardly wait, goodness knows, till we arrive at the Brambly Road. You know, it was a bit of fun, even if we did have to run when the keeper chased us out. And I thought I'd die with laughter. But we're no fools, because we got the jewels. And blimey, that's what we went after. You've been a good friend. For not all friends would lend such help as you have done. And I would have looked and looked everywhere under the sun for that rainbow bridge if you hadn't come. Oh, pish and tush, what a lot of slush. And stop your jabbering flatter. Or oh, strike me pink, most people will think that you're as mad as an atter. Well? By Jove, I say, will you look this way? We've reached the end of our trail. We've followed our nose till we've reached the rose. But I knew from the start that we wouldn't fail. Oh, there's the brambly rose. Oh, but where's the ruby? Oh, dear, where I put it, only goodness knows. Hello, my friendly Whiskery Bill. You see, I'm waiting for you still. Hello, Mrs. Rose. Oh, I've got a kind of treat. I want you to meet a very good friend of mine. Uh, Mrs. Rose, if you'll not resent, uh, then may I present Sir Algernon Q. Whipplesnapple? How do you do? Quite nicely, thank you. And I might even say that I'm charmed. You know, I'm glad that you hurried, for I was no end worried, not to speak of being alarmed. I was afraid you'd stayed and forgotten your promise. 
which would have been sad for Jonathan Thomas. Yes, a ruby's not as rose, but it's not half as red as Sir Algy's nose. Oh, now go away. That's not a very nice thing to say. I've been told that it's very cold up near the Rainbow's Inn. Well, there was quite a storm, but I was quite warm thanks to my very good friend. Thank you for the ruby. And now, let's waste no more time. But please shut your eyes while I speak the rhyme. Rhyme, Mrs. Rose? Oh, yes, you might have guessed, for you see. Each rose is prose, written in color and rhyme. Oh, I'll shut my eyes. You're both very kind and most wise. And now... Oh, it's so deep and sky so high. And all ye winds that moan and sigh. And all ye beauties of the trees, and all ye emeralds of the sea, please hide your eyes and bow your head, while I bring forth a rose so red. And now I give this gift to you. Guard it well, it shall be true. Take it as you made the promise, and awaken from sleep little Jonathan Thomas. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Rose. You're so very kind. And now I suppose we'd better go. That is, if you don't mind. Of course I don't. I'm very glad. For the spell of the witch made me very sad. And now I may sleep in my mossy bed. Thou now that you have your rose so red. Goodbye. I'm pleased to have met you. right oh, and so am I. May good luck and cheer be on your way. And may you again come back someday. We'll try to. And uh, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Whiskery Bill. Oh, oh. we're off, off to, to keep, keep our, our promise. To wake, wake up Jonathan, Jonathan Thomas. For we've done right well, well to break the spell of the, the witch, witch, witch of Rumpel Stitch. Stitch. Oh, oh, we're, we're off, off to keep our promise. <laughs> <laughs> Squim dum do, squim dum dee. Tell me, magic mirror, what you see? Oh, magic witch of Rumble Stitch, I see the breaking of your will and the red rose token. So the spell will be broken by a squirrel named Whiskery Bill. Forsooth, that's not the truth. I thought I stopped that whiskery bill. Well, he does not stop, but goes hippity-hop as he runs across the hill. Ah, then much more magic will I make tragic till he doth quake and shiver. <laughs> Look and see, and then tell to me, does he have to cross a river? Below the hill, there is a rill that's very deep and nice. But your greatest trouble, which is more than double, is that it's frozen over with ice. Ah, there game I'll beat. <laughs> I'll brew some heat. And then we'll see how nice. <laughs> when in they fall, red rose and all, right through the melting ice. <laughs> right through the melting ice. Snug as a bug in a rug, we are we snug as a bug in a rug, chug chug. We are nice and warm against any old storm, storm, and we are not quite and quiver. And we lippity lop and skip and hop right, right over, over and across the river. river. Oh, I'm certainly glad the river's frozen over. For water to squirrels is not like clover. Cause I hate to get wet. And on that, you come back. Come on, let's cross. All set? Yep. Then please don't slip. For nothing's as smooth as ice. And like as I said, don't fall on your head. For that wouldn't be very nice. Oh, look, Sir Algy. What do you know? Look, there are some cracks beginning to show. By Jove. I say, look here, this way. 
If this isn't hard to beat, where there's ice and snow, and it's twenty below, how can there be any heat? What's that sound? Look out, we'll drown! I can't swim if I fall in! Help! Look out! Oh, the ice is great! What do you know about that? Here they were just about back to Jonathan Thomas with the red, red rose. They fall through the ice into the river. Oh, and it makes me shiver to even think of it. What do you think will happen? Well, we'd better find out real soon. So don't forget to listen to the next story of Jonathan Thomas, will you? I won't. (laughs) 